India Biotechnology student. So today I'll be sharing two stories with you. Uh, one story that I uh, studied when I was in my sixth standard and one from my own personal experience. So uh, for the first story, well it's about this uh, girl from a very poor background. Uh, she and her mom lived in a village in a very small hut. Okay? And this girl depended on her mom for uh, everything, like she cannot uh, live without her mom. So one day, her mom just uh, fell asleep, uh, fell very sick, like uh, she had a high fever, a bad headache and all. And uh, this girl being very uneducated, she didn't know anything about doctors or anything, so she went to get the uh, village healer. And this village healer, uh, he had this bull and everything, which was supposed to have magical powers. So uh, he came to her house and uh, he did some of these uh, rituals and everything and told, uh, told this girl that her mom was being possessed by some demons and all. So, and this guy recommended some uh, rituals to prevent uh, this uh, demonic possession and uh, also like she, he provided some herbs to, uh, for her to keep it under her pillow. So as to like, you know, ward off all these demons and all. So, the story ends the next day when the uh, girl is seen running around the village looking for help because her mom's illness did not subside. It just got worse. Her fever got worse. She, she could not even get up from the bed. So, at the, when, the, when my teacher finished taking this, uh, this lesson, she asked us all like, so, uh, what would you do if you were in her place? Like, what would you do if the, you were in the place of this girl? So, naturally, all of my classmates, I remember them saying that they would get, uh, go, take her to a doctor, they would uh, get a better medical opinion and everything. But I remember this one very smart girl telling her, telling her, like, well, the girl was very uneducated and she didn't have any resources. So, if I was in her place, I might be doing the very same thing. So, coming to the next story. So, it's about uh, one of my uh, family that I know very well. Uh, four people, uh, uh, mom and dad and then two kids. Then one of these, uh, one day, one of these kids got really sick. Like, really sick as in, not like a fever or anything. In the few months, he started developing very uh, angry reactions to everything. He started getting violent. He started uh, destroying things, hurting people and everything. So he was really sick. So, like the story of the girl, the parents decided to call the local healer. I mean, not the doctors. They went to the local retreat center and went to get some priests. So, the end result was pretty much the same. The, it didn't do anything. They, the boy was still sick and he got progressively more violent. So, my story is not about, I'm not talking about pain feeling or its bad effects or anything. I think any educated person would get medical help in, if they are sick. I want to talk about mental health issues. Now, this is something that is not much familiar with to most people because it's such a taboo topic in our society. People don't talk about this mental health issues and what happens is people who are, have these problems, they suffer in silence. And it's even just joked about in society like, man, you're crazy, man, you need to see a doctor. But the fact is no one actually sees the doctor. So what is common in these stories is not just some belief based healing the system or anything. It's not like this family from the family I was talking about was not from some poor uneducated family. They were well educated. The fact was they were unaware about this mental health problem. So what I want to tell you is if you or any of your uh, friends or family or relatives they are suffering from any mental health issues, get help. Seriously, talk to a doctor, get a therapist and get it treated. Instead of hoping that things would just magically go away, they just don't. Thank you all. Have a nice day.